Great. Let's call this regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District to order. And we'll do the roll call. We'll start with Jason Greenleaf. Here. Charlie Anderson. Here. Ben Viola. Here. Judith Cavallero. Present. Paul Rodriguez. Here. Uh, Joe Carroll is absent today. And I am Chairman Nick Rico. All right. <coughs> approval of the minutes from last month. Move approval. Second. Any corrections, additions, subtractions? <coughs> I had one on the final page under my comments. Chairman Rico echoed all comments made by fellow trustees instead of fellow trustees. Any others? All right, all in favor? None opposed? Cool. All right, um, superintendent's report. The superintendent, Dave Hughes, has an excused absence. So we have Chief Operator Glenn Belfleur here with us to pinch hit. <laughs> You're on, Glenn. Okay. A copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of July is included in your packet. Our average effluent flow for the month was 1.36 MGD. Our effluent quality was well within our permanent limits. We averaged 94% BOD, 97% TSS removal for the month with averages of 20 and 9 milligrams per liter, respectively. A copy of the pump station flows for the month of July is included in your packet. There are several anomalies with the causes noted. Construction continues on the replacement of the control panel for four and seven. They have completed running conduit and pulling wire and are currently waiting on the panel. The panel should be ready for on-site, off-site testing in early September, after which it will be installed at the plant. Odor complaint, 9 Willowdale Road. On July 31st, we received an odor complaint from Angela Roberge <coughs> concerning sewer odors at the Willowdale pump station. It was a very hot and humid morning. Rudy and John went to the station, and although they did not detect the odor, they added sodium hydroxide to the wet well to abate any residual odors that may be present. Carl and Paul replaced the VFDs at the Tall Pines pump station. The carbon for the odor control system at Old Neck and Old County pump stations was changed this month. The contractors have completed installing a new garage door in the blower building to facilitate the delivery of polymer totes using the fork truck. Below is an interim picture of the installation. CMP substation, Broad Turn Road pump station. <coughs> As previously noted, CMP approached the district with regards to combining access to their proposed substation at the district's pump station. The proposed easement is currently under review from our legal counsel. Outfall inspection. Pepperell Cove Marine completed the inspection of our outfall and identified several diffusers that require maintenance as summarized in their report. They will be developing a budget estimate to address the noted issues which we will include in our 2020 capital expenses. Cool. Any questions for the chief operator? Um, just one, I don't know, um, I don't know whether it would be a time, timely to try to make those corrections to the diffuser prior to 2020, but I know the marine construction cycle can be, can be pretty tricky. Uh, but maybe, maybe we can make a, a request to the superintendent to see whether there's a feasibility of accelerating the schedule for those repairs. That's a good point, Charlie. I remember when I asked for some marine work last year um, in 2018, I was given the earliest possible arrival of 2020 as a potential schedule. Mm -hmm. So unless it's an emergency, there's a yeah. lot of backlog. Yep, yeah, I get it. But along those lines on the outfall inspection, I'm curious. Uh, you know, with the lobster lines and traps, 
I'm wondering if we should deploy warning buoys along the diffuser to prevent people from laying the traps next to it. I wonder if that's even a possibility. I don't know where, if it's in the channel or um, off a of black point or not, but something to think about to keep it protected. Yeah, I mean, I would think that would be something that the superintendent could work with the fishermen to see whether there was any ease of common ground to be to be reached there and maybe with the harbor master also. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Uh, Good idea. Department of Marine Fisheries too. That, you know, there might be different ways that there's some measures could be taken where it wouldn't preclude them from fishing in the area, but maybe just try and keep them away from immediate proximity to mm -hmm. uh, the diffuser. That's a good idea. Any more questions for the chief operator? Okay. So, on to correspondence. Um, we have a letter from Charles Anderson. Uh, in our packet, and it's uh, his resignation letter. And as noted, Charlie and his wife are moving to the next phase of their retirement, including wintering in warmer climates. With that, he will not be able to fulfill his term as trustee. Charlie has served as a trustee ably since 1999, and prior to that, he served as the district superintendent. Charlie's institutional knowledge will be greatly missed. It has been a pleasure working with Charlie, and the superintendent and I want to take this opportunity to thank him and wish him well. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. The next correspondence is DEP um, regarding the PFAS composting issue. <clears throat> the attached documentation is Scarborough Sanitary District's approval for the continued disposal of sludge via contract hauling. As noted in the future, if the district decides to compost on site again, DEP will require additional sampling and DEP approval prior to the to distribution of the finished product. Any questions on that? All right. Um, and the final correspondence is the permit renewal. We submitted an application to renew our discharge license to the main DEP. This is a five year cycle, so we do this every five years. Uh, public notice was published in the August 8, 16th edition of the Portland Press Herald. A copy of the public notice was sent by certified mail to the abutters. Copies of the application are available at Town Hall, Maine DEP in Augusta, and at Scarborough Sanitary District. It is also online via the district's website. Cool. All right. Old business, we have none. Mm -hmm. New business. The seven month budget summary is included in your packets, our packets. The superintendent recommends approval. Move approval. Second. Okay. I think Paul beat him to the punch. Um, any questions on the budget summary? No, no question. Just note that we're in pretty good shape with get expenditures and versus budget. So things are rolling in the right direction. Yes, we are. We're 50%. 58% done with the year through the end of July, and only 42% spent of the budget. All right. So, no other comments, questions? All in favor? None opposed. Please note that Joe Carroll has arrived and voted ably on that last item. All right. I'll in <laughs> I would invite the public comment to comment, but there is no public present. <laughs> Uh, trustee comments. I'll start on your end. Paul Rodriguez. Um, I guess I just wanted to uh, thank Charlie for a uh, you know, warm welcome. Um, and and I, I've been very uh, just impressed and inspired with, you know, your, your dedication uh, to the district. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who would say that. So thank you very much for your service. Thank you. Joe? 
Uh, echo Paul's comments, uh, Charlie. Congratulations on the next season of your life, and thank you to the service to the town and the district for your many years. We'll be a little lost without you, I think. Hopefully, you keep <laughs> keep tabs and stop in. Um, but we'll try to make you proud. But you've done a lot for the town and the district. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Thanks to Glenn for pinch hitting tonight. <clears throat> Coming up to the meeting. I know it's exciting stuff, but yeah. that's awesome. 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 hopefully you keep track at home every week, I'm sure. Yeah. Or every I month. Do. I do. But uh, also, uh, obviously, want to say thank you very much to Charlie for all of your service. Uh, you know, when I first came on over 10 years ago now, uh, Charlie, Bud Waldron, and others were there to help me and help me along and understand what happens here and have a better understanding of the district. and. It's, uh, you know, all of its principles and all of its hard work and, uh, you know, they've left a legacy behind of, it's going to be tough to follow for sure, all their hard work and dedication that they've put in and from both uh, an operational standpoint and also from a fiscal standpoint and, you know, it's going to be tough to not have Charlie around to look to when we have the hard questions to answer and, you know, all the old institutional knowledge that's out there, uh, really appreciate everything you've done and going to miss you. Thanks, Jason. Best of luck. Ben. Uh, thanks for Glenn for filling in. Uh, did a great job. Uh, Coming down to back and see us again. <laughs> uh, Charlie, uh, I think you're going to be around for a little while still, so we can hold off on some of the accolades yeah, until, until later. Why don't you get better prepared? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Charlie. That's it. I'd like to also acknowledge Charlie. I will see you in the villages, however. That would be nice. I'll be knocking on your door okay. when I go and visit all of my friends and so forth. But your knowledge, your history, you can't replace that. And you know it, and we all know it, because it's just been so many years, and you know, you always bring something to the meeting that, oh, good thing Charlie's here. He knows it, and we don't. So I'd also like to thank Wendy. She does such an incredible job. I read these notes, and I said, she sits there for two hours Doing that, my hand would be broken. She does an outstanding job. I tried to do it one night. I take shorthand. It used to be 120 words a minute. I don't know what it is now. So I said, I'm going to do it. I could not do it. I could not keep up with it. I could not do all of the reporting that you did. It is extremely impressive. You're welcome. Oops. Cool. Charlie. Uh, thanks, everybody, for your kind comments, and uh, this, is, uh, this is an exciting time for my wife and I, and it's sweet and sour because there's commitments uh, and uh, goals that we've had in different aspects of our lives to see, and making sure the sanitary district uh, was on sound footing was always something that was near and dear to my heart, and uh, so Yes, we've put a lot of time and energy into it, but no more so than the other trustees who are on the board now and those who preceded us. And, uh, you know, the bar was set pretty high, and hopefully it will stay that way. Um, and we'll keep in mind our fiscal responsibilities to our ratepayers. And uh, I know nobody's irreplaceable, and I know that I'm especially not irreplaceable. You know, over the years, I've seen lots of good people who served move on to other stages of life, and most of the time, things go very smoothly, and uh, they're quickly replaced, and other people step up and take over. So, thanks again for all the kind comments, and I've enjoyed very much uh, working with all the trustees over the years, um, especially this group, and uh, just want to uh, also express appreciation to our staff, which um, does an exemplary job for us. I think the key to any operation is the people that you're able to have on board and folks who have really positive and enthusiastic outlooks toward their job. And I think, by and large, that's, 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 the, um, that's the culture that that we maintain at the district, and I think as long as we're aware of that, sensitive to that, and keep hiring good people, the district will just uh, stay really on strong footing. So, enough said by me. It's been a pleasure. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Well, not every minute, but we've had some tough we had some tough issues, but 
still, even those challenges were enjoyable in the end and the outcome. So keep up the good work, and I will plan to be in the area in the summertime, and I'll be sure to look in and say hello. Thank you. Um, Chief Harper, do I have any comments? Um, I mean, Charlie hired me oh, back 30 years ago, and um, my career wouldn't be where it is today without that, and I do appreciate that. And um, I'll forever be grateful, and we will miss you. Okay. Thank you. So, well, you've done a great job, and I certainly never regretted the hire, and uh, I don't think you ever let me or the district down. So uh, you've been one of those exemplary employees. So keep up the good work, and please stay around for a long time. Cool. Uh, we'll echo the comments of the board and the chief operator. I appreciate Charlie's service. I'll give a better send off in a subsequent meeting. Um, I will say, Great kudos to Glenn, not only for pinch hitting for the superintendent tonight, but for being a stalwart member of the Cigar Room Sanitary District, um, keeping the operation running top notch, notch, keeping the plant one of the cleanest plants in the state. Um, I appreciate your work, your efforts, and uh, you know, kudos. Thank you. With that, I will entertain the final motion. Will we adjourn? Second. All in favor? We're done.